Hi everyone, I'm Ann Gentle and I work on OpenStack documentation. I've had plenty of people come up and thank me for my efforts, but really it's a team effort and I'm going to tell you about how you can become a documentation contributor too. So I'm assuming you've already gone through these steps and we're going to start out with this git clone step. All of the OpenStack manuals are stored in this OpenStack manuals repository on git. And I'm going to look for a bug that we can work on. Um, there's a long list, so I found one that's kind of small um, and assigned myself. Basically, we're going to make sure that we specify that libvirt is running as well as some of the other Nova services in this particular, particular file. So it's in this section, confirm all services running in the install and deploy manual. The way we're going to do this is actually launch a uh, Java web start version of the Oxygen author editor it makes authoring XML easier, and we'll keep an eye on whether or not OpenStack Manuals has been fully downloaded yet. Now, once the Java web start gets going, you'll uh, say yes, I accept the risk, I trust Rackspace has produced this and it's okay, and um, it's going to launch for you. So now that the repo is downloaded, I'm going to change into it and kind of walk you through um, how to check out. So. Because we use Garrett for our review system, just like the code does, um, we're going to make sure we check out a new branch each time and only do one commit per branch. So give you a look at the land, lay of the land um, and show you the editor. Uh, this is the oxygen editor and we're going to try to find that file. So the thing we want to open is the openstack-install directory. And the BK uh, file, we kind of use a BK nomenclature for book file. Um, it takes a little while to open, but it's not too bad. I'm also going to walk you through how to find um, the actual text. So what I do is I take a look at um, some of the surrounding text, um, such as you know trying to start an instance. So that's what I'm typing in before trying to start and it went right to the spot in that BK file. Now the gray background indicates this is an embedded file with an XI include. So I can actually hit Command R and open right where my cursor was in the other file. And I actually would prefer to switch to like a text authoring mode so that I can see exactly what uh, it is we're adding. So um, we're actually adding a new var list entry and um, going to change that to show that libvirt uh, sorry, libvirt D is the service that you also need to run. Um, and the markup isn't too bad. Honestly, you can just look at whatever else was there, kind of do a copy paste like I'm showing you here. Um, and the main thing is to just get the information accurate as possible so that we can use our continuous integration to get this built quickly. So I've got a couple of uh, edits I'm going to make. Um, and, and again, you know, I expect that a lot of people who have already signed the CLA would have enough knowledge to be able to do edits like this, um, that, you know, all the Nova services require this driver. Um, that's what a lot of the Python calls are too. And, um, now I've got to basically get the right, um, closing tags so that those little red bars on the right hand side go away. That's doing a validation on the document, um, so that I know it'll build later. And, um, once we get this all sorted out, um, I think I have to actually make a whole new var list entry, and that's why this isn't quite resolving yet. Um, then I can show you how this actually builds. Good, get rid of that. It, add in the end tag. Get rid of the stuff that's not part of the end tag. And um, we should be back in business. There's the green box. Everything's validated. Good to go. So I'm going to switch over to um, build this document in my terminal window. So I changed directories into the install directory, which is where we were working on the source. And I can run um, the um, palm.xml. Well, let's take a look at palm.xml just to see what's going on. So in any directory that has a palm.xml file, uh, we can that's where we actually build the files. And this is what lets the robots and the continuous integration actually work, is that we have a Maven plugin that gets all the dependencies to build this document. 
and um, you don't have to worry about it. Now in this case, we're actually building the Red Hat version. So I'm gonna run MVN, which is a Maven call, clean, generate sources, and uh, let this build. And it's not too exciting to watch it go by, but it uh, gives you an idea of what you should be doing locally um, in order to make sure your docs are gonna build by the continuous integration on Jenkins. So this will take a little bit. I can also talk about um, you know, some of the stuff going on, some of the times you'll see errors that actually don't matter. The PDF rendition is so precise that even millimeters kind of throw it off. So you'll see a lot of stuff about um, warnings and uh, what regions are uh, not quite right in the FO file. And all of those you can safely ignore. You can also safely ignore um, any missing figures that go by in these kind of logs because part of our build actually looks for whether or not a uh, referenced file is missing. So if a reference file, such as a figure, was missing, our build would tell you when you build it locally. And um, you could also look on Jenkins and see which uh, files are missing if the build fails. So, but, you know, as part of being a good contributor, you will always make sure your stuff builds locally. Um, and that's what we're doing here. So, build success. And um, we're actually going to take a look and make sure the HTML looks like what we thought it should. Um, so I'm opening up, um, it goes into a target directory, so I'm opening up the um, index.html so that I can then navigate, just like I would on the site, um, try to navigate to the file that I know has changed. And this is just a good check to make sure the output is what you expected it to be. Right, so here we are, our OpenStack uh, install and deploy manual. Let's look for that running virtual machine instances. And sure enough, libvirt has been added, and now we can actually make a commit. So it's git commit minus a, minus a adds anything you've uh, added in this commit. And um, I'm going to put fix bug 11.100.352, and just a little note about what that really fixed. Added libvirt to the required running list, and... Um, that's a VI editor, so you just save and um, get out of that. And then I'm doing a git review minus v. In this case, because it's a new repository, I had to enter my Garrett username. But since I've already signed the CLA, all the checks run just fine. So I also ran it with minus v so you could see what's going on. So now I have a wonderful review URL I can go to. If I hit refresh on that bug, it actually has a link to that URL. And um, let's take a look. Now, because I am docs core, I can actually do a plus two and approve it and publish it right away. And it takes, you know, Jenkins about two minutes to run. And then after it's run, if I look at the trunk documentation on the trunk site, I will see exactly what built. But since I don't want to wake you wait 10 minutes to let the robots work, I'm just going to finish this out and uh, have you show it's done.